Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine names or other separated data in Excel. And I have four pretty easy methods. So the first method we're going to go over is concat. Okay, so I have my first name in column A, my last name in column B. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click in cell C2 and I'm going to click on the insert function button here and I'm going to type concat. Now keep in mind there is also concatenate which is an older function that it sounds like maybe that they are going to retire at some point and it sounds like they're trying to shift to concat so just throwing that out there if you have previously used concatenate they're pretty similar so I'm going to click on OK so text one so it's the first bit of text that I want to use so I'm going to click on the first first name here and then second, I want to insert a space because I want a space between the first and the last um, name, right? And then text three, I'm going to click on the last name. And we can see how it appears here. So if we didn't have that there, it's going to just put it together. It doesn't know what, you're, what you want it to do unless you tell it what to do. So just make sure you have the space there. You can see that the result is how you expect it to be. And then we can click on OK. So that's method one. And then what you can do is hover in the corner here. So you see that my cursor has changed to that black plus sign. You can click there with the left button and drag down. And that's going to copy that formula for all of your data there. So pretty handy. OK, now a great thing about concat that's different from concatenate is that you can now select a range. OK, so you can do the same thing. And instead of entering text one and text two, you can just in text box select these two columns. The problem is you're not going to have that space there. So there is a little solution for it. Maybe it's tedious, but I just wanted to show it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a column here and then we're going to enter a space and then hit enter. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to control C to copy it and I'm going to paste it down here. So every single one of these has a space. And then in the range here, I'm going to go back to my function button. I'm going to select concat again. And now instead of entering the separate cells, I'm just going to left click on the first name and drag it over. And as we can see, it's pulled that space in there and made the name appear how I want it to. So same result, just a little different method. So I'm going to copy that down as well. Now, the third method is is just creating a formula using uh, the ampersand, the and symbol. So the way we do that is we enter an equal sign and we want the first name here. So we just click on that. Now we enter another ampersand. Now what we enter here is we want a space here, of course, as well. So you can, if you want to use this space here, or what you can do is enter a quotation mark, a space, another quotation mark, another ampersand, and then the last name. So that's kind of what it's, what it's going to look like there. And that's going to be the first name, a space, and then the last name. And then we hit enter same result there. So again, we can drag that down and have all of these names combined. And the last method is probably, um, I, I think it's the easiest. It's probably my preferred method. So we're going to use the text join function. So similar to concat and concatenate, but I think it's a little easier than those. So we're going to again, click in this blank space right here. We're going to click on the function button. And now we are going to just, you can just type in text join or text, whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to click on OK. So where this is really cool is if you want to, so say you have a bunch of different spaces here or, you know, columns of data and you want them all to have the same um, delimiter. So something between them, um, this is fantastic for that. So you don't have to keep entering that space. So for delimiter, we're going to enter a space. OK, that's going to put the space between all of your your text that you have selected here. Ignore empty. So we want that to be true. So if it's empty, just ignore it. And then text one, we're going to select the first name and text two, the last name there. So we can see that it, 
it appears how we want it to. But again, this is a great option if you have multiple fields where you don't want to have to enter that space in every single time. We can click on OK and drag that down to copy it to all of them. So as you can see, we've gotten the same results from these four different methods here. Now, as a best practice, I always recommend to copy and then paste values, okay? Because what that's going to do is it's going to paste the actual data there instead of um, the formula. So as you can see, if we look up here in the formula bar, we don't actually see the names, we see the formulas here. So if I were to, you know, oh, I'm done here and delete that, boom, all my work goes away and you can lose that. So it's a really great idea to just copy this and paste it as a value. So that way you preserve all that hard work that you've done, or maybe it's not such hard work, but your work. So I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Leave me a like or a comment if this was helpful. You have questions, you have ideas, you guys have fantastic ideas, and I love them. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.